Hey guys, so I wanted to go over how to set up the RTL SDR blog version 3, a very affordable software defined radio that you can buy on various websites including Amazon or their website rtl-sdr.com and what this was was for receiving television and now it's being repurposed for picking up all kinds of interesting radio this includes picking up satellite imagery live of the earth so as a satellite flies over you you can actually use this to pick up and to see a live footage of the earth itself you can also use it to experiment with baby monitors or you know cordless phones or you know if you have two of them you can do trunk scanning like police turn into a police scanner you can listen to ham radio operators cb radio and you can also do things like replay attacks where you listen in on the keyless unlock buttons or you know ignition starts and you can then do what's called a replay attack where you transmit that back i do have a raspberry pi and i have tried this where uh, on my own car of course of course and you basically record what it's transmitting modern cars use a rolling code so what you have to do is kind of you know prevent that signal from going through and then you can then replay it using a small wire on a GPIO pin. So first thing is I'm going to list the things I have. These are Some of these are optional, but this is pretty important. You need a USB-C that will plug into your phone. And the reason I say that is because you can hook it directly here, but I like this extension here because it doesn't put a lot of weight on the Pine phone. You don't want to damage the USB on your Pine phone because then you won't be able to charge it, etc. So... I've got here a USB female to female or female to male and then I've added this little piece on the end here and that'll allow me to walk around with the pine phone without you know this heavy thing hanging down and then I have a couple of antennas here and an antenna stand and so one of the programs that I found that works well is GQRX so we're gonna go ahead and open that And another tip here is this thing uses some power. So what you're going to need to do is turn up your brightness here. Because if you don't turn up your brightness and you plug it in, it'll completely go to a black screen. So let me show you what I mean there. So if I have it on low brightness, you're going to think it doesn't work at all. Because when you plug it up, it's not going to... See, as you can see, it looks like my screen has gone black. But the fact is, is that if your brightness isn't up high enough, it will look like your screen has gone blank, but it's actually just dimmed from the power. So we're going to go ahead and unplug that. Now we have GQRX open, and we have, um, we can just hit this play button just to show you guys it works. As you can see, you can see the waterfall here. And you can tell it works now. And it actually ranks a nice little screen for it. But another suggestion I have for you guys is to change the way the display is set up. And I'm going to show you why. You can't exactly see the entire screen um, because there's actually buttons over there. And even if we do this and we change the view here, we're going to find that we're missing some spots so what we need to do is we need to change our display and we're going to put it on 100 percent and we're going to hit apply and what that's going to do is shrink everything down and it's going to allow us to have a better screen and as you can tell i have use of everything now so that's pretty neat and we have our waterfall here and it, you might want to set up some kind of a you know you a Bluetooth keyboard or something that makes it a little easier to handle this, but you can change the frequencies up here with your fingers as well. It's just, it'd be easier with something else. So I'll go into that in another video, but I just want to show you guys how to set it up today. So next we're going to SSH over into our Pine phone here, and I'm going to use my computer screen with the terminal SSH into the Pine phone, just so you guys can see the drivers and everything I'm installing better.
Now we're logged in to our Pine Phone, and you can do this right on your Pine Phone screen, but I have it on my laptop screen right now, so I wanted to make it a little easier for everyone to read this on the video. So if you want to pause the video and basically write some of this stuff down, I'll leave some of it on the screen for you. The first thing we're going to need to do is install some drivers to get our RTL SDR software defined radio working. So the first thing we're going to do at number one is install libusb-1.0-0-0 dev and that's a USB driver we're going to need so install that by using the command sudo apt install libusb-1.0-0 dev and after we've installed that driver we're going to go ahead and install the RTL SDR package and that has a lot of different tools in it as well where you can test out and make sure your card is working so with that we're going to use the command sudo apt install RTL dash SDR and once you've installed that you should basically have everything you need to go but one important thing is you're going to need to blacklist a specific driver inside the SDR and this is going to save you problems down the line so go ahead and open a new file after you've done step one and two and we can name this file anything but you just have to make sure it's in this directory here slash etc slash modprobe dot d and as long as it's in that directory you'll be okay and for the sake of the example I've called it rtl dash sdr dash blacklist dot conf and in that file we're gonna add this blacklist and then what you see here I will put all this in the description so you guys can copy and paste it we're gonna blacklist a couple of these things that might interfere with what we're trying to do with our SDR once you've done all those steps um, we will then simply reboot our machine and at that point we should have a working RTL SDR as I had shown you guys in the beginning of the video so I hope you find this helpful I'm going to do more videos on software defined radio and you can even pick up you know GSM cellular as well of course only pick up things that you have the authority and you have permission to pick up so I will be doing more software defined radio videos in the coming weeks if you like this video like it share it subscribe and I'll be back later with more on the Pine phone